Okay, folks, so it's 31 October. We actually got our first significant snow here. Actually, first snow of the year out here in Kansas. Um, it's been snowing for, I don't know, probably four or five hours on and off. Nothing that's going to sit on the ground because the ground's still not frozen yet. Um, Sunday, it was 78 degrees in the afternoon. And today is Tuesday the 31st and it is this morning when I woke up it was 24, 25 degrees and then it is now um, 32 degrees so it's actually going to drop low again. Um, thought I'd give it a whirl and try to get out here real quick. Uh, they let us out early today for trick or treating and hopefully I get a treat. So. There was a couple doe out here, um, out in front of the stand when I first came up and I worked my way in and they just kind of walked off, so hopefully there should be a buck uh, following me, following in behind it. Uh, our bucks have definitively separated out here. Uh, I haven't really seen them chasing too hard yet, um, but I don't know. I know up there in New York they're chasing pretty hard. Down here they're sniffing, but they're not they're not really chasing chasing yet. So um, stay tuned. We'll uh, we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching. The main meme is finally on the ground. I can't talk very loud. I still have a buck right here. Hold on, he's coming back. He's looking for double main beam. They came in together. I'm going to show you this right now. So hopefully I recorded some of this, I don't know, 
I just, I'm really excited right now. I just killed the biggest deer of my life. This is double main beam. I've literally passed on this deer uh, at least eight times this year. I was kind of waiting for my wife to shoot him. I have bucks walking all over the place right now. I took a shot I wouldn't normally take. It was a 20-yard shot. And uh, the arrow went exactly where I wanted it to go. The deer went 40 yards maybe, balled up. I'm still gonna give him, you know, adequate time to make sure that he's expired out there. I knew I was gonna be pushing through the shoulder, but with this Halon 5 that I have, I knew I was gonna get plenty of penetration. He was a, a strong quartering too, <clears throat> but I got both lungs, I'm certain of it, as quick as he piled up. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited right now. <sighs> My hands are shaking. I don't know if you can see that. I literally shot the biggest deer of my life. Holy crap. I do have Goliath on camera this morning. It's the first time I've seen him in two months. <sighs> I just, I told myself if I seen this double main beam again, I wasn't gonna pass him. I passed him a lot, trying to get my wife uh, <clears throat> able a shot at him. Uh, she's actually never killed a buck. Um, I only have one stand up here, so I bought this Lozonics, and I was like, all right, I'm gonna buy this because I only have one stand up, stand set up here, and uh, we, I just only had time to get one in, and it's all, they're all tower blind, you know, out here in Kansas there's not a whole lot of woods in here that where I'm not literally in their bedding area I'm gonna start getting down here I gotta go down and get the truck and uh, I'm gonna we'll get this deer cut it up and we'll do we'll see you in a little bit thanks for watching guys oh yes all right folks so here it is 31 October and double main beam has hit the ground. He's a mainframe eight, um, but he has this extra kicker here in the center. I mean, I, at first, I, well, when we I literally have pictures of this deer all the way back. Um, I'm gonna guess. Um, I think he's a four-year-old deer. He might be a three and a half year old. He was running with a lot of three and a half year olds. <sighs> Absolutely spot on shot. Um, wow. I mean, he's just, he's so massive. I can hardly get my, my hand all the way around on this side and just absolutely amazing. So thank my good friend Keith Fitzgerald for letting me hunt out here on his property and, uh, this old boy, he's going on the wall. And uh, hopefully my wife can put Goliath or uh, Big 8 on. The, she calls him Paragon, which means it's a perfectly symmetrical 8 point. Uh, we have both of them on camera. This guy was on the hit list. Thanks for watching, guys. What an awesome day. Just finished getting this deer caped out. I just really wanted to, to show you guys, uh, you know, the reason why... I actually shot this deer. Um, yeah, I have bigger deer on the farm, um, but this one was just one of the coolest deer I think we have. Um, and this guy, about three weeks ago, he's really been bullying around a lot of the, the three-year-olds that I had. That's why I think that he's a four-year-old. Um, just, <clears throat> but, I mean, if you look at him from the side, he's he's got a little length here. But when you actually look at the back of this deer, and you look at the sheer mass on the bottom here, in the in the bottom corner. That's where you see, uh, you know, just really how big that that uh, the main beam actually is when it comes out. It's a solid two two and a half inches wide. Um, you know, 
So scoreable part of it, yeah. You know, I'm not a big scoring guy, um, but this deer, and you can see it real well from the back here. This this double main beam. And there's two very definitive points onto this. I at first uh, we were sure that he was going to be a double main beam, um, and then as June turned into July, we actually thought he was going to be just a split brow. Um, so, and then it turns out that he actually ended up having um, that very definitive double main beam. So I just, I just kind of wanted to outline that for you guys. I mean, I'm not really looking for anybody's support for it, um, but I am, in fact, just, just trying to outline and and highlight some of the the uh, things that went on with this deer. So, um, long, long history with him. So. Just cool. He's uh, actually broken here a little bit. He's been fighting so intensively. Uh, this was about another two inches longer. Uh, or shit, two weeks ago. Um, last time I seen him in the woods, right before I went to uh, Wyoming on that antelope hunt. So, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this hunt um, and stay tuned. Hopefully, we can bring another one to you from uh, Kansas here. Um, as my wife prepares to try to kill uh, another one of the monsters. Hopefully we can get her one of the monsters that we actually have on camera. Forks, which we haven't seen but one time on camera, but that's the deer she wants to kill. So, hey, so be it. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned.